What do you guys think? Huh? Huh? <laughs>
it's it would be a lot cheaper than building it. It's just gonna. It's just a lot of time. Yeah, I mean, but we, it's building is a lot of time. The other one's a lot of time too. This is there's just more unknowns with this one. Yeah, um, that's a nice fence. <laughs> it's right. huge. Um, it's not in horrible shape, is the thing. So I just think trying to think of the system, how you would, how you would kind of keep track of everything so that you can put it back together. It's really rainy this morning, but this is a beautiful neighborhood. It's like you can hear children laughing and playing, big lots. Nice. So what are you thinking? Need to think some more? Yeah. What you thinking? Um, I guess. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's like, okay, can I get this apart in a way that's transportable transportable and able to be put back together and while I remember how to put it back together <laughs> like either way I, I think the price is way less than what the other one would be just build brand new I mean we can return that lumber so that's good um, it's just and maybe I don't need to think so much about it it's just like yeah you're just gonna have to show up start taking it apart and um, see what happens and that's probably the thing just figure it out as you go, which is how we welcome to our life. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone's life, really. So, um, I think I think I'll go with it. I might try to offer him a little bit less. Uh, but yeah, he's asking five hundred. Five hundred bucks. It's a really good size coop, and realizing we might not even need to extend the run because it goes underneath the nesting area as well. Yeah, it's, but it's super super easy to if we ever decide like it's kind of crowded in there. Yeah, it probably won't be too difficult. So. There's, we got a smaller breed of chicken. It's like much smaller than if you have like a meat bird mm -hmm. or like there's like giant Australorps. This is a small bird, five yeah. to seven pounds. So, or maybe, yeah, four to six even. It's really small. Okay, so we'll think about it. We're back over here at the, the chicken coop. I arranged to buy it with the owner. I've already purchased it. So I brought my crew, some of my boys here. And we are going to attempt to take this apart. We're just figuring out as we go. Um, but hopefully we can figure out how to get it apart in a, pieces that are big enough to put back together, but not too small or too big. So we'll see. We're working on it. We're short one ladder, so. Hey, we're not short. These guys, <laughs> these guys are improvising. <laughs> got more energy you can do that sort of thing but screw, we're making progress screw. getting these uh the roof parts off we're in the car taking a quick break because i guess they're out of town the people who own it i've only corresponded with him through text and whatnot so anyway someone came to let the dog out to go to the bathroom and she was nervous the dog would give us some trouble so she had she said can you go wait in your truck so we're taking a break. How are you guys feeling about it so far? Is it going all right? I'm not sure if we're doing it right. We're just, we're, it turns out we have to take the, I think the roof is gonna have to come off in pieces. I was hoping to kind of bring it off in bigger pieces, but I just don't see a way to do it. So I think we're gonna continue taking the roof off in pieces. And then um, hopefully we can have some for the run there, leave some panels sort of in place because it has chicken wire running through it and I don't want to have to mess that up or redo it. So hoping we can get that off in some panels and then just be able to pick up the coop itself and bring that as one piece. So we'll see how we do, but we're making progress. At first it took us a little while to get some momentum, but I feel like we're kind of going there. All right, we're working on getting this top this edge off. I, hey, I think that's still nailed in on that, that, um... Oh, yeah, these are all nailed in. No, no, not that, but I think it's nailed in at oh, the actual... Oh, I cut all of those. No, it looks uncut. Is it not? It's just... Okay, hang on. Let me, let me help, but this is what we're doing. We're getting all these off, taking the nails out. We need hard hats. It's true, but we don't have any. about to fall out. Okay, just a minute. Running into some serious... Earwiggage. Earwiggage. There's a huge nest of them in here. They're all kind of scattering now, but we've had a lot of bugs on this one. I guess 
when you're working outside or something's been outside, it's gonna have some bugs on it. So we're still working on this. All right, we got our first section off. So we've got a one wall gone. I don't know how we're gonna get it back together, but that's off. This is where we're at. We're gonna, we gotta stop here because we gotta go. Um, I have some stuff in the back of the truck, just a few things. We're gonna leave this stuff here for now and we'll come get the rest tomorrow. I'm gonna get a trailer and come back. So here, Mike's gonna show me what they've got and just, but I wanna show you guys, I've been here baking what the, uh, how crowded these ladies have gotten. I don't know if you remember that they were so small but now they're so big. So they're pretty crowded in here. But not horrible, but Oh, not horrible, they, but uh, they're they not like need some space. What do you guys think? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Got Is this the um, run? This is our this is our coop right here. It looks good. Nice. <laughs> yeah. This is this is part of the run. Oh, whoa. Careful, these are very sharp right here. Um, well, let's see if she's yelling for dude out the front window. That's good. No, this, so this is like the, the top boards that go along the edge of the roof. Uh. And then these are basically two of the walls right here. And some of the cross members that go in the, in the roof or whatever. Was it fun in any way? Uh, I mean, it was kind of fun to break it down. Break it down. Well, break it down. Oh, oh, oh. You could have just like demoed it with no worry yes, about yes, that anything. Would that would have been a lot more fun. But we had to try to do it in a way that we can it put was, it back together. It's kind of horribly interesting to see the airwigs. Yeah, you guys oh. got bit by bugs, <laughs> bugs too. Bugs everywhere. Yeah, they, Yuck! So, but it's good thing that you can do that. I've got to go unload Keep this and then tomorrow I'm going to get a trailer and we're going to go actually, Quiet. I'm trying to get the actual coop in one, in one piece in the trailer. And then there's a couple of the walls, actually the, the roof, and is it one of the walls? Want, uh, one of the walls is is in, kind of in one piece. Anyways, okay. we'll hmm. see. Hmm. That that's what I'm nervous about is putting it all back together. Hmm. So. so as soon as they get back that back together, I'm gonna assume it's not gonna be tomorrow, but the next day. Then you guys can move in, maybe, huh? They like my wedding ring. See, anything sparkly. I can scare them away really fast. What do you think? Yes. We refill their water so fast because they have these little chick-sized things, but you're like. Teenagers now. You're just eight, 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 eight. The teenagers. Uh huh. The international size. <laughs> okay, so I'm back the next day. I have reinforcements. I've got four of the local missionaries to help me move this thing. Got the rest of the bottom taken out. We're gonna use these boards to lift it with, and hopefully get it into here, into the trailer. We got Asher and Weston. So. There's seven of us total, so hopefully between the seven of us we can we can get this in. So see how this goes. Right, it is all in. That was perfect fit. So we're ready to head down the road. Hopefully we don't lose anything as we go, but I think we're good. All right, we've got to unload it over here at the where it's gonna be. I think we're gonna move it just kind of this area. Megan's coming over to <clears throat> tell us where to put it. Well, I've still got my movers. Weston's giving him a drink, which is nice. So it got out here in one piece. I mean, I don't know if I call that one piece, <clears throat> but it's here. <laughs> and our pile of rubble here. We'll see if we can get this back together, but not today. I've got something else we gotta go to, but hopefully get this in place. The next day, Andrew's over here with me. We're gonna see about getting this stuff kind of laid out to try to remember 
how it went together and get an idea of uh, how we're gonna do this and also how much you wanna worry about leveling. And there's a little bit of slope to this, um, to the yard. I'm not sure if it's enough to worry about, but um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how this is gonna work. Cause I know, I think we're gonna have to get some, a little bit of replacement lumber and um, work on, well, I don't know. It's, we just gotta start putting this together. We'll see. All right, we're working on this thing. I got the, I don't know, side because I had to replace the leg that was right here or I'm replacing it. I just removed it because this was the bottom of it. Just trash, but keep on running into lots of earwigs. They're like all over the place, so creepy crawlies, kind of grody. All right, um, I, I got, there's bugs here. Bugs. I got this this um, leg replaced over here. That was kind of fun. Now it's done. I got a solid piece of wood there. It's great. Yes, you saw nice and solid. Piece of wood here. <laughs> it like breaks. <laughs> um, so now I got to add the bottom plate, which was over there. That one's kind of falling apart, but I think I'm still going to keep it. And uh, Megan's here to assist. To do this. Just say, so, yeah, good. that's good. Looks, looks pretty good. Oh, good job, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> um, I she's been busy at the house eating and stuff, so I couldn't come till now. No, she was doing all sorts of stuff, running errands, Costco, whatnot. Anyways, it still looks like a mess here, and hopefully we can create some order. So we're gonna. I got my overalls on, so I'm you're ready, ready to work. For the work. <laughs> so um, we're gonna see how far we get tonight before we run out of light. worked until we can't see anymore so we're just putting on some pieces here to hold it up uh -huh. hold that I need that and then we're going to go home come back in the morning okay it's a couple days later I'm back over here I've been working on this and it's looking more like a actual structure maybe trying to piece something back together that was already a thing is a little bit hard to do, um, especially since the way it was constructed. I didn't. I don't really understand the, the methods because it's the weirdest framing I've ever encountered. The way that the previous person put it together, but to try to change the way it's framed would mean I'd have to just redo the whole thing and buy all new material, which sort of defeats point of <clears throat> getting this in the first place so just been slowly like piecing it together in probably not the most orderly fashion and in weird kind of ways I don't know but we're getting there um, we'll see how much farther we get today Right. it's actually a couple days later um, the structure is pretty much done I'll show you this We've got it all up and pretty much together the only thing remaining is the actual the corrugated uh, roofing material that's gonna go up um, but otherwise it is pretty much all together um, so what I'm doing, what I'm going to do before I get the roof on is um, I'm going to go, th we're going to power wash this thing out because it's looking pretty grody. Um, I'm going to look at maybe replacing, they had some of these 2x4s up as I think roosts for their chickens, for the you know previous chickens who lived here. I might uh, redo that a little bit. <clears throat> um, probably go this direction with uh, a few options for them to roost up on when they're at night. But before I put the top on, I thought it'd be easier to get it cleaned out while there's no top on it, because I can I can clean it up from up above and get it nice and clean. I'm gonna kind of get behind some here before I attach this. Um, probably clean out their actual, the boxes here, which are 
kind of yucky. Uh, we'll see how well that cleans out. I don't know. It's, it's not a big deal because they're just going to make it yucky again, but kind of like the idea of starting with a clean slate um, or cleaner slate, I should say, but it's looking pretty good. Um, you don't want to look too closely because you'll see where I've just sort of pieced it together. <laughs> Luckily, it's just a chicken coop, so not everything has to be at a 90 degree angle or completely straight uh, for it to work. Anyway, so I'm gonna get the pressure washer going and get this thing clean, as well as these. I'm really excited to clean off. So this was the the uh, the roofing material that came off of it. There's I got like five or six panels there. Pull those out and get those cleaned off so we can start new. And also because I've got a there's a few that were broken, so we're gonna get some new ones and uh, put it all together. So see how it goes. Right. Whew. That was a dirtier job than I expected it to be. I am. Look at this. Pretty dirty. <laughs> Had chicken poop, I think, just flying all over the place. Um, especially these boxes, these laying boxes, man. Anyway, so it's cleaner. It's not perfectly clean, but and I'm not sure if that was really necessary, but I just wanted to do it. So um, now that's done. I can start getting the roofing stuff figured out. We've gotta, gotta work out how I'm gonna do that because I think I gotta replace some pieces. So anyways, we'll start working on the roof. All right, now that Mike has um, power washed, I can paint. And we had another Oops Paint miracle where I went over to the Oops Paint. I wasn't sure what color I was gonna paint it. I was thinking to keeping it kind of the grayish brown of these trees here. I thought that would be nice and blend. I mean, it's always cute to do like a barn red or something like that, but, um, or white, but I wanted something kind of soothing that didn't stick out from the street. So I thought maybe that color, and I went over to the Oops paint section and for real found it for $6 and it's exterior paint. When does that ever happen? So that was, that was a little tender mercy, but, um, so I'm going to be painting, got my painting overalls on which fit a little differently than they used to because mama's been eating too many goodies. That's okay, goodies are good. But I'm gonna start painting with a brush on the post or maybe, I don't know, and then I'll probably roll the actual hutch. Right, it's the next day as you can see we got the roof on yesterday I was I basically did it in the dark so couldn't really record it but the roof's on so that's great we got a little bit of a voice issue this morning but other than that everything's fine um, on the on this box the nesting box or whatever laying box I decided this bottom part yesterday that I was trying to get cleaned off was just too gross so this morning I, I took it off and then I just cut a new piece that I'm gonna put in there. I Because it was so hard to power wash in there with that bottom yesterday, I didn't really get this clean off as well as I would have liked to have done. But, you know, that's okay. So we're gonna put a new bottom on. This is my new roof thing that I'm gonna put here. And then I'm gonna make the little gate or the door that comes down to access the eggs from here and this is an attempt to keep the uh water from getting in there because that other the other previous system was not good at keeping water out which is why it was so gross in there partially so get that in get this i'm gonna have to cut into the siding a little bit here so i can get the top in past the siding as a, so that 
when the water comes, it doesn't go, or less of it gets behind it. I'm not sure if it'd be completely, you know, watertight, but it'll be more than it was. So it'll be a little bit of a process. Well, that took way longer than I thought it would. Get that cut, it's a little bit messy. But this is in place back there. Uh, I'm gonna get lunch and then come back and we'll get the roofing actually on it, get it attached with some decking nails and uh, and start working on this front. And then once it sets on, the coop will be 100% ready for our chickens. Yeah, we'll hey, while, while Mike is finishing up at the coop, Hey, We're gonna to put the chickens in here and drive them over. It's about a four minute drive. So. <laughs> oh, I wanna grab one. Do we need the shavings? No, they're at the house. We might have to do another container. We'll see. It's a family affair. Everybody came that's at home. I'll take the food. Oh, so I'm gonna pick that. Have. You want to carry that, Eve? Yes. Okay. Can I, should I carry some? Like, Don't worry. We had a thing in between the lid and the bin. Yeah, carry that bag of feed so that they had air coming in. But now for the carrying, we're not doing that. Because when we were trying to get them in there, they were super naughty and kept hopping out. I should have recorded it, but I was too busy trying to, to keep chickens right from yeah running around. The garage. We're gonna open up and none of them are gonna be there. There it is back there. Okay, let's come and go around and go through the door. That looks Ooh. great. And all we have looks to do is obviously out. take the lid off because they are, will all hop out. I go okay. in, take the lid off. Okay, you don't, everybody's gonna go in, just these two. I'm close. Okay, guys, Three, take the lid off and come on out. Come on out, ladies. Come on. That's true. Yeah, some of those. Come on, ladies. Hop out. Woo, good job. Here, take it. There's no water in there. I know, we need to get them. What's so interesting? They're hiding. <laughs> They're nervous. You look very small in here. That's good, because I wasn't sure if it was big enough. <laughs> this is your first time free ranging, in a way. I'm not sure. I guess it's not free ranging, but being on the ground. Silas has been so excited to get the chickens here. They're here. Look. Cool. They're loving it. Yeah, Hopping around. Yeah, this is they will get in the house in a little bit. We have to put their little bridge up to it. Asher filled up the water thing. <laughs> and it's heavier than he thought it would be. <laughs> it's like that, that part in House Moving Castle when it just has two legs. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Oh, Andrew. Like a boss. Man, it just goes on the ground. So this is their indoor area. These go across as perches. Hi, ah. Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. We will be using something different, not pine shavings eventually, but since we have these, should have done the back one first. <laughs> And now behind you, you, you. Now you live in there, Andrew. <laughs> How are you going to get out? I can do it. <laughs> Keep going. We're going to put a third in. What? Chaplain bin. Like he gets all the way back in there after placing all the sticks. I'm okay. Um, it's now I don't know how many days later, but I think we're all done, right? Yeah, it's been 
think two weeks from start to finish of like no. when we saw it. Really? I think so. Ah, uh, that took forever. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But maybe we should show you. We'll do, we'll do, do a, a quick tour. little tour. Have a look. Okay. You may not be. So the the process was we saw it on Facebook. It took them like two or three days to get back to us. It took a little, yeah. But we got forth. it for five hundred dollars. Mike disassembled it with the boys. Some missionaries came. Help us move this part. Bring, yeah, and then we brought it here, and Mike had the hard task of putting together a coop that was not built in any traditional way. I didn't really understand the construction, but. It, it could have been my problem, but either way, it's it's um, good. And then we painted it. Um, I put a little wreath on here that I got for four ninety nine. It for sure had some flowers on it, but I ripped them off. Just because you know you want a wreath on your coop, obviously. Yeah, and then this is uh, the last thing I was showing. Actually, I didn't I didn't complete that. So this before lifted up, but we could tell there was like lots of mud and like the, every time you'd lift it up, the water would run down right into. And I think also because there was a seam where the lid met the framing there, Never water was going in. And also, we didn't show it. Maybe we did, but the lid that used to be on there was totally rotten. It was yeah, just gone. water was falling onto it. Yeah. And it was just wood. Yeah. And so Mike did that, and he sealed it, and then he built a new... And so, and the reason that this is all, this looks dirty because this is repurposed yeah. from the top. And also what was kind of nice is, well, you can go ahead and open it, but... And he did this. It's these look dirty and someday they'll have straw on them. But also I read, this was the decking that was on the roof before that we just couldn't use all of it. Smelly and just full of like wet. So blood. yeah, I, I kind of, I repurposed that as well as this is a siding that was already here, but then just put that trim on it to create a door. Um, I didn't get it really uh, pressure washed out there. So it looks still kind of dirty in there. I'm, I'm not that I'm self-conscious of it, but also I had to add this little frame here to, for the, um, the hinges. So, Anyways, um, we have our food in this bin. We ordered another feeder. We have a huge water thing, but they didn't have a big enough feeder at the store. Yeah, so it's actually coming today. Okay. Hi, ladies. Um, in we go. So here's your water. This will last about a week at a time um, at this point. This is lasting a couple of days, but we have a bigger feeder coming. We got a, a feeder that's about that size that's going to be in here. So we also have a, this automatic door. Oh yeah. That will go comes up in the morning and goes down at night. Problem is they haven't yet learned to go inside at night. At night. So the last night and the night before we came and put them inside. I forgot to paint the old door because we thought we were going to put that there, it's but open. You can't really tell. I don't know what I was thinking, but I have it's more okay. paint, so I'll come and, and do that. And then, yeah. We had to add this door because the opening was too big on that one. So this one, cut that out. We'll just leave that closed. That's plan B if the uh, if that door breaks. But they're super happy in here. Yep, they're pretty happy. Um, there's plenty of space. These This breed is actually a small chicken breed. So they're not good for like meat birds. Mm -hmm. They're just layers. Hey, you. <laughs> Very curious. Hey, you like my ring? Um, and then I'll show you another thing people might be concerned about. We've had chickens many times over the years, so we've also had lots of chicken death. <laughs> Which uh, is part of the So we made the equation. wire really secure, and but then we also did this new thing that I'm excited about, is this, staked into the ground. This stuff? So the grass can grow through it, but an animal can't dig in. Yeah. So, and then and also that's... this has got a really solid base. So there's just multiple layers of security for the hens. Yep. But sometimes when you have animals, you learn the hard way, you know. <laughs> this is nice though, because like raccoons are smart and they can like figure out little locks. This is a nice lock though. Little and this is how we'll clean it out. hook. This is exactly the design we wanted. That it's at this height. Right now it's got these in. And yeah. some of these are brown, so don't worry, that's not all poop. <laughs> And several roosts, but we're going to replace it with some other material that dries the poop out better. So Oh, yeah, the, for there. the bottom. There's mm -hmm. there's some stuff you can buy that is almost like a kitty litter, but it's kind of for chickens. And it will dry out their chicken poop and make it, you know, not so messy. Right, and easier to clean, easier out. To clean out. So that should be really easy. And they're really happy. The neighbors are happy. If the Both neighbors that border are excited to have them. They approved of the coop. So yeah, they've... We've had a couple of neighbors come by and, it was nice and talk she, about it. Right here, she's really happy and excited to have the chickens. So yeah, she so always feels that way. What's that? I hope she always feels that way. She will. So I think it came together pretty well. 
it was a little bit of a conundrum sometimes and I had to replace some of the framing but um, and re replace some of the bottom plate with some pressure pressure treated wood down there um, so it should last yeah, feeds in there for now. I, that might be the... Someday we might get like an actual like little thing with a lid. You know? Yeah, something Check. a little bit um, better looking than a tote. But it works for now. So, and we, we face it this direction because we wanted to be able to, from the house someday, see the run pretty easily. So we, yeah, this is the way it's, it's facing. So, um, if you're wondering... These layers start laying at 16 weeks, which I think is a couple months from now, a little less than a couple months. So that should be fine. And we'll, we're really, we're less than a mile from here. We walk by or run by every day. And uh, so we'll just pick up the eggs and check on the chickens every day. And obviously my brother lives here now and they're totally willing to help out too. But. Yeah, so I think that's the end of our chicken coop video. Oh. It was a lot, of, I think it's, I hope it's not too much thrown vlog, but we'll see. So that's it. We're happy, and it's uh, that we learned a lot along the way. So, thanks for coming along. Um, chickens are the best. They're full yeah. of personality. They're actually not too difficult to take care of. Um, like I've said, we've had chickens a lot over the years, and we were anxious to get them again. And we could have waited till we're in the house next year, but we just didn't want to. And we thought, you know what? Let's just get them now, and we're happy to have them. So yeah. So uh, come back next time for more adventures. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, go to northpensouth.com. Check out our podcast, which is also linked uh, in the description. And that's it. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.